Hey everybody, it's Shokin Hyde, and I'm back with the Macho vs. Hyde campaign, Scenario 1, December 28th, 1941. This is going to be a big turn for me. Um, okay, we got Butuan. The Allies retake Chusian because he's got troops there. Um, so we discovered Fortress Palembang last turn, and it's, it was a bit of a shock that it was that big already. Um, and I decided it's un un intolerable, so I am going huge here. Okay, I-168 takes a shot at the Chu, which is that Midway Island. I'm sending in everything I got that makes sense into uh, Palembang this turn. Alright, well, I-168's already taking damage here. Nope, that didn't last long. <sighs> One hit, probably not much damage there. Okay, we got Dutch subs doing Dutch dub stuff. Dutch dub, Dutch sub stuff. Man, look at <sighs> Kendari is such a death zone. All right, we're in, guys. We're in. Okay, this is the first wave, and there's many more coming. Uh, this is awesome. So we've cleared. Um, we've cleared the, uh, any naval, like, uh, what do you call it, destroyers that he's got, and we've gotten in. <sighs> I have three waves of these things coming in here, guys. I'm hoping to catch ships with troops aboard. That's what I really want. I have no idea these are loaded or not, so I'm, I went with the assumption that they would be. Okay. Okay. I'm going to fast forward through this because it's just a bunch of small cargo ships. Let's just see what happens here. Alright, well. Fuel cargo burning on a lot of these. Wow! Alright, unfortunately for us, um, none of those had troops on it. But, we've got plenty more where that came from. This is just the beginning. So one convoy completely destroyed at Palembang, and I'm bringing in everything we can. Ah, oh, and I knew I was worried about mines. Okay, so another task force is in here now. This one looks like troop ships with a couple escorts, but I'm hoping we can get through these and kill troops on these ships. So let's let's find out how this goes. Dang it, the Tama hit a mine. I think we're winning this. <laughs> Hello, you fighting orphans of the Pacific. This is your favorite enemy, Orphan Anne, at Radio Tokyo. With music to lift your spirits and words to depress your morale. Hmm. But first, Imperial General Headquarters announced <sighs> today that the Imperial Navy has, has achieved another great it's victory so near Palembang. With the sinking of two carriers, what? a battleship, and numerous cruisers oh. and destroyers. Okay, alright, let's not get crazy here. We didn't kill that much. But we found a bunch of APs. Unfortunately, it looks like they're mostly unloaded again. Let me see if I can... Uh-oh. Did I break my game? Okay. Um... Uh... That, <laughs> we probably going to sink the Paul Jones. A couple of these might sink. That definitely sank. Uh, there wasn't much loaded on there, unfortunately. But there's still more task forces in there. Let's see if we can get any other damage. All right. Uh, this looks like the same task force we just shot up. I think we're going to try to finish it off here. Um, the Paul Jones goes down. It looks like we sink a few more. There's more vehicles loaded on here this time. So I'm not sure what that is, but they went down. Hopefully some more ships sink with stuff aboard. So, okay, we had one ship hit a mine, which, you know, is what it is. I expected there to be mines at Palembang, and I expected to... Some ships are sinking now. I expected there to be 
mine hits. But we got in there, we took out some stuff. Unfortunately, not much of it had troops aboard, but we still got more time in the in the uh, AM, the PM, or the day phase of the naval thing for something to happen here. Either way, we inflicted some losses. Okay, landing at Sandakan and Beru. Efate and New Hebrides. Figured I should grab this base before he get he, before he does. Duff Island. Man, I'm really <laughs> I'm busy. Tablas. Onatoa. Roti. Yeah, I'm trying to uh I'm trying to KO um what's it called? Timor. I want to put that out of its misery right now. Okay, let's see if we have any more naval activity uh at Palembang. I I hope we do. Taking another shot at the Chew, and we miss again. Because the Chew is out of ASW ammunition. Okay, I guess that's all we're going to get at Palembang. I was hoping there was supposed to be a total of three task forces that went in there, but I, I only counted two. Man, he's moving a lot of ships. God, there's so many ships at Singapore. We gotta do something about that. So many ships everywhere. I can't believe he's back into Singapore again. I was hoping for another engagement at, at Palembang, but he cleared out. He's got no cap up over Palembang. That's really surprising. Um, we're going to be bombing it today. I expected it to be a bit more defense here than this. So we get right through those guys. It's like nothing. I don't know where the rest of his, uh, his cap went, but maybe they're on escort? Close guys over Sion. That's a good thing. <coughs> Okay, I do have naval bombers going after these guys at uh, Ramry Island. I'm hoping we can do some damage to these. Because they're obviously here doing something bad. Come on, guys. Let's hit something. Come on. Let's, let's hit something here. There we go. Uh, hopefully there's troops on this, too. Come on, guys. What are we doing here? There we go. Not too impressed with our bombing accuracy right now. A lot of misses. Nice. That ship's dead. Alright. So... We sink some ships. I don't know what they were doing. Unfortunately, they don't appear to be loaded. Or if they're loaded, they didn't have troops. So that will sink. We'll listen for more sinking suns. It will probably be this Tyria if it's anything. If we hear something sink, that's probably what it is. Okay, and we're going for a bombing raid over Palembang. I'm testing out the flak and I'm trying to see what the heck he's actually got here. 
Alright, let's fast forward this and get a look at the damage. Ooh. Alright, well this makes sense. Um, load stars. He's using these to move troops in. Catalina damage. Two Vildebeest destroyed. That we know where his torpedo bombers are at. We're going to unfortunately have to face these things. Um, with the ships that are still sitting in port there. There's nothing we can do about that. All I can do is to hope to destroy and disable a lot of these Vildebeest so they can't fly. All right. Betty's coming in here. Hopefully we can take out some stuff. And again, they're carrying bombs, which I don't understand because they have torpedoes. There's 100 torpedoes at Kendari, so why they're carrying bombs, I don't know. And it's, it's frustrating me. Because they're never going to hit much with those. And again, more fuel-loaded cargo ships. Now... Maybe it's for the best that they didn't carry torpedoes, because that would have been a waste of torpedoes for these guys. Now, why are we not taking torpedoes, guys? All right, clear skies over Sion. We're gonna plaster this place. Yeah, pretty good hits there. I want to make sure that we keep any more forts from coming up in Sion than there's already. Oh, here we go. Bombing raid over Singapore. Okay. I think we don't need to bomb Singapore anymore. Uh, the damage is accumulating a lot. This will probably be the last day I do it for a while. Okay, so uh, while this is running, I do want to talk about this. One of the risks that I was concerned about was that one of my task forces would stay in Palembang and any of his torpedo bombers that are flying here are going to go after them. So I do have long range caps scheduled for Palembang. I just don't know if they're going to be enough to save this task force from the the naval strikes that are sure to come. We'll find out. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage from Flak, but not a lot of actual shoot downs outright. So our ops losses may be high, but at least we're not losing them before they drop their bombs. Two Chinese core there. <clears throat> okay, I'm going for a actual ground bombing raid on Rangoon because I want to see what the heck he's got in here. So, Royal Navy Base, First Burma Division. Okay, so now we know that the First Burma is in Rangoon and a lot of base forces. Got it. Bombing this because we're going to hit it with armor this turn. 38th Chinese Corps. Got it. And another raid on Sion. Okay, and I'm just bombing these guys to keep them from moving into this hex before my guys get out of there. Okay, I'm waiting for the uh, the naval strike to hit us. Okay, good hits on Paton today. We need to start putting damage on the airfield to stop the forts. Good hits.
Ah, man. He just won't leave that poor mixed brigade alone, man. He just wants to kill them all. That was the one that got attacked the day before. Ah, I knew this was gonna. I knew this was coming. Um, I don't know if my Oscars are gonna be enough to stop this. Dude, we're gonna take some damage from this. Let's see what these Oscars can do. I think we're gonna get jacked up here. Yeah, we didn't really stop it. These guys are in trouble. Come on, guys, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Tama took a. Tor Remember, Tama took a uh, a mine earlier. All right. Well, we defended that. Traded okay. Hopefully, we can continue to, to fend this off. Woof. Three Oscars, huh? Okay, right off the bat, our flak is doing something here. Every aircraft that we can dissuade from coming is a good thing. Alright, let's see how it goes. Okay, a lot get through. Come on, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Oh, good. Sendai is, is doing everything it can to survive this. Nice. Come on. Don't get hit. Wow. I'm really impressed. Between the fighters, even though we don't have a lot there, and my... Um, wow. The flak on the... On the on these things are doing really good. It's keeping them alive. Okay, unfortunately my long range cap is completely exhausted so we're gonna have to fend this off. And we do. We got lucky there. We got lucky, but... <laughs> we not be lucky here. These swordfish are hard to kill. Sometimes they just get super lucky. Ugh, come on. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I am like... <sighs> this is too much. This is too much for me. How many more do we have to take? Ah, uh, and he's hitting Camran Bay again. Okay. He's not going to find a whole lot in there. All right. He's coming out of uh, Nanning, I think. And that's going to be a size 3 airfield. So right off the bat, he's coming in with the reduced bomb load. He's running. This is. I don't know what he's expecting to hit here. This is not going to hurt me. Oh man, I just want to get those stupid ships out of Palembang Port. They're just going to keep getting hit by aircraft if we don't. Okay, something else sank, Allied. I don't know what it was. We may have to endure one more um, phase of Allied um, naval air attacks on the ships in Palembang. Great. But to canceled missions. All right, I don't know if we're going to be able to stop this this time, guys. Our cap is just not here. <sighs> Come on, Tom must survive it. Ah, that's it for that guy. She's done. I don't think it's going to survive it. There's just too many. 
And we have no cap now. Uh, Tama takes a torpedo and it already took a mine. I don't think it's going to make it. No cap. I just did not put enough cap up there. I was worried about this and I didn't do what I wanted to do. Ah, jeez. We have to get out of there. Well, it we survived that. Ah, uh, see, that might be the um, the Tama may not make it out of there. Let's see, if we get on the ground today. Okay, just checking out what he's got here. It doesn't look like much. Oof. Look at that. That is no good. We're heavily outnumbered there. We need to get out of that hex quickly. How did he get that big of a unit there? Okay. Shock attack here. I honestly don't know how this is going to go. There's more AV here than I thought. Yeah, that didn't go well at all. Oof. <laughs> that went terribly. Man. Um, yeah. Oh, not good. We got stopped there. That's a lot of AV right there. Yikes. Okay, shock attack and mole mine. I think we're gonna get it this time. These guys have gotta be tired. Let's see what we get. You ready? Yeah, we got them. And we're driving them. Cool. So we overwhelm these guys. Take no losses. He leaves a lot of stuff behind. Two units destroyed. Eight retreat. And now we can continue on the Rangoon. Good result. Okay. Deliberate attack here. Just trying to push these guys off the rail line. Cool. Okay, Basilon. Dilly. Excellent. He's bombarding at Taiyun. But we have enough troops there to hold that. Alright, now we're going to be cleaning up some dot bases here. Alright, and this is Burias. Wow. Surigao. We're really doing a number on uh, Mindanao now. Siargao. Another base. And Palopo. Yeah, 
and Maroc. <laughs> and more. Wow. We're going to have a lot of bases today. Cool. Duff Islands. This is not defended. Onotoa. Not defended. Alright. There's a the turn. Ooh, Mutkin, size 8 airfield. That's really good. That's really good. That's what we really needed right there. Now we can take those engineers and move them elsewhere. Alright guys, um, not the worst turn ever. We killed some ships in Palembang, although they didn't have the troops under that I was hoping they would have. Additionally, um, the Tama took a, a torpedo and a, uh, a mine. So getting that out of there is going to be critical, and I don't know if it's going to make it. Real quick, let's just take a look at the Tama. So this is where we were at. Uh, looks like a lot of stuff got away. He's going to continue, probably not coming into Palembang anymore, but he's going to continue coming into Osthaven. And he's going to keep moving these troops and, and cycling them as many as possible into Palembang. And it's going to be a bear to take that. All right, so... These guys are okay. These guys are okay. This thing is not okay. Uh, I'm moving at two hexes a day. I would say that's a goner. So real quick, we're going to take this thing. And I can't even fly it off because the ship is so damaged. Dang it. I can't even get that thing off of there. Look at that. No transfer option. It's too much damage on the ship. <sighs> All right. Um, Sendai took some damage, but it's okay. We'll get it out of there. So basically, I only have, out of all those ships that we engaged here, I only am in risk of losing one. And we took out a lot of his stuff, and we detected the minefield, which means our future ingresses into here, should we elect to do them, will be less um, likely to hit mines. Okay. Um... I'll go ahead and look at the intel real quick. Aircraft losses for today. 16 for him. 5 for us. That's actually outstanding considering um, how rough this could have been. So we took out 5 Vildebeest, which are torpedo bombers. 7 of these Dutch things. We only lose Sonia. 1 Oscar despite that crazy long long range cap. These are very acceptable losses for us today. Yeah, we inflicted way better than, than what we got. And our flak was just killing it today. Saving their lives. Alright. Army loss points ticked up a little bit. Ship sunk last turn. Here's the butcher's bill. There could be more than this, but this is what's being reported. Nothing particularly useful, but, I mean, everything we can do to degrade his cargo capacity out here right now will make it harder for him to bring more stuff in. So, it, it's it's not the boon that I was hoping for. I was hoping we could kill more... APs with troops aboard. However, I'll take what I can get because it's better than nothing. And we get a four Piper Clemson class. All right. We did chip away at his points a little bit. So here is your intel screen as we get close to getting to the end of the new of the year. In China, um, he took Chu Xian, but I'm on the way to retake it back. He's really harassing these guys a lot. Wish he'd leave them alone so they can just go home. Uh, we're continuing to drive towards Ankang. We're pretty much stuck here. We are pushing really hard towards Sion from this direction. 
and we've got 800 AV in here. So if we reform these divisions, we're going to tell one to go into deliberate, and we're going to tell these guys to go reserve, and tell these guys to go reserve, so that when we um, win in there, and I'll, I'll you know what? Actually, I need to put these to rebuild, put these guys to reserve, so they pursue. So we can keep dragging in towards Sion. This poor armored regiment had a rough day. Oh well. In Burma, we did take Mole Mine and we inflicted some losses there, which is great. We need to immediately pursue, so I'm probably going to just send the armor uh, charging at full speed to keep up with these guys and just keep harassing them. And I'll bomb them to slow them down. He has the 1st Burma Division here and a bunch of other crappy units. I knew that he was unloading something at Ramry, and we caught him. We caught him with some ships here. Uh, unfortunately, he did get one unit off, but it will take them some time to work their way into Rangoon from here. Notice how he's not coming into Rangoon anymore. He's loading up and, and departing at Ramry because it's safer than trying to come into here. He, we shut that down. Singapore, he is still evacuating troops. I cannot believe it. He's still evacuating troops. This guy just does not quit. Um, so what we're going to probably do here next turn is set these nails from an airfield attack to a naval attack with torpedoes. And we're going to do our very best to kill as many of these ships at sea as we possibly can. Let's hope for that. And I have plenty of escorts here. We got Sinkoeng up and running. Finally got the uh, most of this, uh, what do you call this thing? The, this uh, this air flotilla. I'm unloading it at Sinkoeng because we need to get this base up and running quickly. In fact, I need to start sending some more supply in here to keep this uh, operational. These are my heroes here, the 59th Sentai. F fatigue is surprisingly low considering they were long-range capping Palembang. That's not, those are not the settings I had them on, by the way. I don't know what that is. So these guys swept. Got a couple kills. Did good. And this is... this is So what I'm calling a disaster is the fact that I, I allowed him to get in here and do this. Uh, I should have been more attentive to this because I knew he was pulling troops out of Singapore. I absolutely knew it. Um, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. He's doing a full effort. This is maximum effort to get... That is not a CVE. Uh, this is maximum effort to get troops into Palembang. What he's trying to do here, guys, so this Fortress Palembang thing is this. He wants to stack it with as many engineers and troops as possible. So, A, it makes it hard for us to take it because it's on times three terrain. And two, or, or B, sorry, I can't do math or do the alphabet. He's hoping that when the base does fall, the engineers trash the place and destroy the oil in the refineries. If we take too many oil hits at Palembang, it seriously jeopardizes our campaign because we've got to have the oil to sustain our operations in, you know, worldwide. We have to have the oil. That's why we're fighting this war. That's why we're out here in the Dutch East Indies. We've got to have the oil. If he does this Fortress Palembang and when we take the base, his engineers blow the place up, that could be game over for us. So that's why I'm worried about this now. We need to start speeding things up to get in here and deal with this. So this is the main issue we have right now, Fortress Palembang. I don't care about Singapore. I don't care about Rangoon. China, I don't even care about it anymore right now. Australia, any of this stuff, right? It, none of it matters. This is what we have to take care of. So before I can really get in here, though, we do need to take Singapore. I just had another infantry regiment cross over. And in case you guys are wondering about, uh, on my Discord, there was some talk about the one-third rule, about um, shock attacking into a hex that's held by the enemy uh, when you have to cross another river like this. Uh, I just sent a 100 AV unit into Singapore. They went across this single uh, open hex. There was 200 AV in there when they got there. That tell and, and the rule is you have to have one-third the amount of AV that the enemy has in the hex for you not to have an additional shock attack when you come across this uh, river hex. So that's telling us that because we had 200 AV in here, 
he has less than 600 in, in Singapore, which is obvious to us now looking at the transports that he's doing and, and looking at Palembang. But that just shows you proof of concept. You only need one-third the AV in the hex that you're crossing into for any subsequent units to go in to not shock attack as well. So uh, Desert Wolf and friends, the guys that do this already and pointed it out, thank you. We just did a proof of concept, and we understand it. So um, we are waiting for more troops to get into the hex. Uh, for example, I need all of these guys to expedite, especially the 38th Division, which hopefully in one turn will be across. Uh, once I get all of these combat units into Singapore, I think we can take it in two attacks because he's left, he's taken so much out and we've done so much damage to this place with the bombing. Um, I think we can, we can take it pretty quickly. Well, I think that's all I'm going to talk about in this turn. I've, it's been kind of long. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the naval action. I'm surprised we did what we did, and we may only just lose a single um, a light cruiser for it. Now, a Tama would be a, a, a big hit, but fortunately, it's not one of my heavy cruisers that carries um, the um, long lance torpedoes. These are the, the crappier torpedoes, so all in all, it's not a, a horrible result considering. So... Um, we're going to continue drilling down on this Palembang thing. We've got to take it. I'll see to it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Wish us luck. We need it for this campaign. It's going to be tough.